Hello, good morning. My name is Cynthia Brian, and we are going to have our structural design lesson today. I will be taking you through. So I hope you're ready and prepared. Today we are going to look at a very interesting topic, which is the effect of concealing PVC pipes in Nazi columns. So welcome and I believe to begin with uh, in the modern money construction actually we do not have pipes running on surface as we used to do before. And nowadays architects normally provide for service that is where we pass our piping, both for plumbing, electrical and the other main services. Or we conceal those pipes in our reinforced concrete columns because of aesthetics. And also whenever we expose those pipes to the environment, they normally need to radiate very fast. Therefore, in the modern ways of construction, we have such ways in which we can incorporate both have our pipes contained in our columns. And there are two ways in which this can happen. We can have an engineer design this. And whenever it is designed for, if your structural engineer is competent, he does his calculations and he designs for sufficient members to carry whatever load that is required. Therefore, he normally factors this into his design and he designs and materials for that. But whenever we are doing this as an afterthought in the field, sometimes we might make mistakes because we might provide pipes which affect the structural strength of our element, be it a column, a beam, a slab, or whichever structural element it is being designed for. Therefore, we are supposed to carry out checks on site and carry, uh, come up with revisions on how we can use these pipes which are concealed in RC columns. Therefore, that is what we're going to tackle today. And we're going to see the effect of these pipes and how we can carry out the checks on site. So, assuming we have a 300 by 300 mm column, and our FC for concrete is 25 newtons per millimeter square. FCT for main reinforcement, we are going to use for 60 type 2 steel. So let's say for 60 newtons per millimeter square. FOMB for our startup, startup steel strength, let's use 250 newtons per millimeter square. So this one we might not require them. In, in this determination and we have a pipe which is 90 millimeter in diameter what are we getting i think yeah the main reinforcement we have 14 16. So we are going to carry out a check and determine whether this is going to have an effect on our column. So if I can draw quickly a sketch of our column, let's say 300 by 300, then we have still. So scenario one effect of no pipe. We are going to determine the other lot. So the reference material we are going to use is the British standard H110 part one and that is the G97 version equaling 39. Question 39 and 42 of this code determines how we're going to determine N, which is the actual load carried by our columns for both for both columns. That is question 39 and question 42. 
chant one for uh, short and, 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 and stocky words in our structure. And these ones is for short uh, columns. So we're going to design our column as a short column. Therefore, the equation is n given by 0 0.35 FCU AC. This is the effective cross sectional area of concrete in a column under by 0 0.7 multiplied by F yk this was not c this was y multiplied by the area of steel so fcu is 25 newtons per millimeter squared so we are determining that before ac is determined by the all cross section area which is 300 multiplied by 300 subtract the area the steel reinforcement because we are going to get the effective concrete area. As you observe, if we put a pipe here, it is not going to affect the area of steel provided in the column. What is actually affected is the cross-sectional area of the concrete part. Therefore, that is what we are going to determine here without the column. So in this case, this is 300 by 300 subtract the that. Pi d squared, uh, our d is 16. Therefore, if we take a calculator, it is 804 millimeter squared. Subtract 804. We are going to have. Now, scenario two, what is the effect of this width in the pipe? Presence of the 19 millimeter pipe. We still use the British standard, page 110, that is part one, 1997 version, equation 39. 
ございます。ちょっと変です。M will be given by 0.35 FC This one will be altered because we will now have a pipe in our system. If this is our column, we will have a pipe here in the main reinforcement. And this will reduce the effective cross-sectional area of our column. Therefore, the area will be given by the area of our column. Subtract the area due to steel reinforcement which we have determined as 804, this one here. Subtract the cross-sectional area of the column, that is pi, d squared over 4. This will be 90,000. Subtract 804. I think we have done that, it is here. So we don't have it again. <laughs> this is going to be 9,196. Subtract that. This is 90 meter. So we're going to have 6,361. So that is 362. Eighty-two thousand eight hundred and thirty-four millimeters squared. So when you look at this and you look at this, you realize that the effect of pi, which is the cross-sectional area of a column, to reduce. Therefore, it affects the actual load that you can design a column for. So here, we will determine our M, which will be given by 0 0.35, multiplied by the FCU, which is 25, by that. Add the second bit of our equation, which will be 0.7, multiplied by 460. The area of steel was 804. And we determine our N. Therefore, we get our N as 983,685. Uh, these are newtons. Therefore, that is 983 kilo newtons. But we have seen we are designing for 1,000 newtons. Therefore, this is less than. Kilo newtons and not okay. Therefore, what do we prescribe? The actual load, the total actual load that can be determined carried by our column is actually less than what we wanted to carry. Therefore, what do we do? Option number one. We could reduce the size of the pipe because it was 19 millimeters. We can try 16, and this will increase the total load that the column can carry because it will allow or give an allowance for um, more cross sectional area covered by concrete. Option number two would be to increase the size of the 
Ola. If we have maybe a 400 by 300 millimeter hollow, then definitely it is going to increase this cross-section area color of the column, which will have a greater allowance for more actual load than we can thus use the 90 millimeter pipe. Therefore, if it is a mask that we need to use the 90 millimeter pipe, then we have to increase the diameter, the, the, the size of, of the column, and, and many, many other considerations. Now, whenever you are doing this on site, there are two things that you always need to consider. Because in engineering, after designing and, and detailing and construction, uh, we need supervision. If supervision is not done, then things will not be done to the right way. So, whenever you are doing this on site, you need to ensure that your concrete is well vibrated. Uh, so that it's compact to avoid handicaps. Handicaps are the smaller spaces, gaps that you normally have in uh, concrete. And if you have such gaps, then it is going to uh, affect how your column is going to carry the actual load, therefore reduce your structural ability of the column. Secondly, we need to ensure that this system that we are installing here, these pipes, are tightly fixed to avoid leakages because whenever we have leakages and, and let's say our, 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 our liquid to be transported by a pipe has some sulfate content in it uh, from civil engineering materials we learned that uh, sulfate attacks on concrete actually affect the concrete and this water can lead to the lasting of steel and, and it affects the structural integrity of your member therefore ensure that this system is tight and there are no those meant or leakages that could affect the structural member as you do that. I would like to thank you for being attentive. Thank you for coming. We shall be doing this again another time. Uh, same place, same time next week. We shall be looking at something else uh, as outlining our course outline. Therefore, thank you. And for our viewers in YouTube, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Our YouTube channel is called Promtech Engineering. And in Promtech Engineering, we teach uh, structural design and things related to civil engineering. So if you are an engineer or an engineering student, you could subscribe and we could be learning together. Or even if you have an interest in construction, you could subscribe because we normally uh, post content that could help laymen, even us they are the ones who actually give us as civil engineers the works to do. Therefore, please subscribe to the channel, press the bell icon for any notifications in the future. And if you want something analyzed to design or you have a query on how to do something, please drop it in below in the comment section and we shall help you sort it out. Therefore, thank you and I hope you're going to take this into consideration as you go to the field. Because if you do this as an afterthought, you need to carry out this check. For instance, if this engineer had put this pipe without checking, then it is going to have a laser actually load. And actually, the structure is going to fail. You start experiencing uh, uh, cracks left, right, and center. So please let's follow the right construction procedures to attain the right structural integrity of our members. Thank you. And the good Lord bless you.